How does the sexual orientation of parents matter um, was a title that I chose with my co-author Tim Biblars um, to imply a double meaning and um, to raise the question of whether it does matter at all and also to suggest that there are ways of thinking about how it matters that aren't just the obvious ways that the debates politically had gone on. There had begun to be a shift and there had by now been a lot of research published and all of it said that there were no differences in the parenting of lesbian and gays and um, heterosexual parents or, and in particular that there were no differences in the outcomes for children. The reason that I became interested is that um, the claim that there were no differences sounded a little bit surprising to me and it also sounded a bit defensive to me. Uh, it accepted too much of the notion that, of course, heterosexual parents would be the best parents. And as a sociologist, I don't think anything is of course or that we should presume anything like that from the get-go. I think that there are two kinds of differences that are likely to um, between children raised by lesbian or lesbian gay parents and um, heterosexual parents. The vast majority are very small differences and are a product of what sociologists or social scientists call selection effects. And so a lot of these selection effects actually favor lesbian and gay parents and their children, and some of them go the opposite way. Um, for example, because of the amount of planning that's involved in choosing to be a parent as an out lesbian or gay person or couple, and especially for the men, they're older parents, and they tend to be more educated and with um, greater educational resources. Those are all factors that generally, um, on average, lead to better outcomes for children. But the other thing is that because of discrimination and sensitivity and a lack of equal acceptance, you are likely to get more consciousness of those issues and more careful parenting around issues of respect for others, tolerance, diversity, things of that sort. And finally, I do think that um, it's very likely that children with gay and lesbian parents will feel more open to pursue their sexual desires, whatever they are, than children with heterosexual parents, on average. I've been one of the people who's been very um, unhappy to see um, same-sex marriage become the overwhelming centerfold policy goal, I understand it, but of um, the LGBT movement. Um, and in particular, I find it a bit um, disturbing and, and irrational that the question of the efficacy of gay parenting should be brought up in the question about legalizing same-sex marriage. And so from my point of view, one of the paradoxical effects of legalizing same-sex marriage, which I of course support because I wouldn't favor discrimination on grounds of sex orientation, but one of the unfortunate side effects of that will be to increase inequality by class and race. Disproportionately, same-sex marriage is going to be, has been and will continue to be a white middle class and affluent institution. And we know this is true of heterosexual marriage as well, that poor people and people of color are less likely to marry, unemployed people are less likely to marry or to be able to sustain their marriages. And disproportionately, that means non-white people and their children. And so one of the paradoxical, ironic, unintended effects of one form of equality is to exacerbate another form of inequality. When I advocate a pluralistic approach to family change and contemporary family life, I would like to get away from the idea that there is a gold standard for one family structure that is the ideal model and the preferred type of family life and everything else should be compared to that and is either equal to it or not as good as it or perhaps better, but I don't think that's correct either. I really deeply believe that people are different, um, families are different, societies are different, cultures are different, 
we can make judgments about them. In fact, we can probably not avoid making judgments about them. Um, but I, I firmly believe that there is not a single best one that would be good for everyone.